Hi guys, another medical statistics video. Remember, if you find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. So, we're gonna talk about type one errors, an area that people often get confused with when it comes to medical statistics. But let's put it into an example to give it a bit of context. Now, a type one error, remember, is when you incorrectly reject a true null hypothesis. So that the hypothesis is true, but we incorrectly reject it. So for example, say you look at a null hypothesis that says the carrots are orange. We get that, that's pretty accepted. We know that carrots are orange. Now say someone comes along and says, I wanna do an experiment to see if they actually are orange or not. And they look at a hundred different carrots, but they look at them through a red tinted set of glasses. So red tint in their lens. Of course, the carrots to them are gonna appear red. So they're gonna reject the null hypothesis. They're gonna say, look, they're not orange, they're actually red. That's an example of a type one error where someone has incorrectly rejected a true null hypothesis. So when you're trying to design an experiment to look at carrots, you're gonna try and reduce type one errors by, for example, making sure that anyone who's using glasses has no tint in them, that it's just pure see-through and there's no color behind the lens. So a type one error is when you incorrectly reject a true null hypothesis. This is really simple, but hopefully when you get the basics, you can put it into context in terms of medical research. Much more like this in terms of stats simplified in our AKT stats webinars and our AKT stats audiobooks. Hope this helps. Hashtag can pass, will pass.